Today we're going to talk about a few of the training zones and what they do for you. I'll compare the normal zones to what I use and explain the difference. If you've not already done so, go back and watch the previous video explaining the first group of training zones and what they do for you. This includes the magic zone. We are moving on with the next most common two training zones in the lineup, Zone 3 and Zone 4, Tempo and Lactate Threshold. I will also go over the zones I have in the same range. I break them into three zones. Let's start off first with Zone 3, that is the Tempo Zone. This zone is above the strictly aerobic zone and also below your threshold level. Towards the top end of this zone, I consider it a sweet spot but we'll get to that in a minute. Like the endurance zone, you can exercise in this zone multiple days in a row if you're recovering properly with diet, rest, and massage. This zone does have more labored breathing and does interrupt constant conversation. Riders generally do tempo rides near the end of the off season coming out of base building. Like zone two, adaptations with muscle glycogen, mitochondrial enzymes, and changing fast twitch muscle fibers from type 2B to type 2A. You can also raise your lactate threshold in this zone. Temple is 76 to 90% of your FTP test average power. Zone four is lactate threshold, and the intensity is obviously higher than what you're at in zone three. This zone is what we refer to as just below a time trial effort. Something you could sustain for a good amount of time. Breathing is higher and conversation is definitely halted, often due to the breathing in this zone. This zone typically is where more workout intervals are prescribed, and during these intervals you could experience some leg discomfort. The longer you go in this zone in the single activity, the stronger your mental game needs to be. In this zone, you switch to using carbohydrates as your main source of fuel. And if you keep this pace without replenishment, you will deplete your carb stores and as a result be forced to slow down or you will bonk. This training zone has a range of 90 to 105% of your FTP test power average. This zone starts to push the limit as far as continuous days in a row in this zone. It is possible to do multiple days, but it's better done with a recovery day between. Along with some of the improvements that we see in previous zones, this zone also increases plasma volume increases your heart's efficiency, increases your VO2 max, and increases your aerobic power, which is power with oxygen. When I look at the specific zones I use, my tempo zone is slightly different than what everyone else seems to use. My zone three or tempo zone is a little smaller and my range is from 76 to 85% of your FTP test power average. This leaves a small window for what I call the steady state zone, and this is my zone four. My steady state zone uses the top of the normal tempo zone, as well as a little sliver of the lactate threshold zone. I truly believe this is the sweet spot for getting even better results for increasing plasma volume, increasing your heart's efficiency, increasing your VO2 max, and increasing your aerobic power. My zone five is the same as the common zone four. The only difference is I call them limit intervals. In the next How to Cycle Fast video, we will dig into some other zones in detail and what they do for you. I will see about getting to some races to get some new race videos up. I had a chance to go to one this weekend, but it just didn't work out. Let me know in the comments below what you struggle with, what questions you may have, and I will see about putting together a video if there's enough feedback on certain topics. Feel free to share these videos with other people who may benefit from them. Let me know in the comments below what length interval you do for the Common Zone 4. Have you tried one for 30 minutes? Don't forget to share this video with your workout friends so they can incorporate testing into their cycling life to get faster. I'll have a link in the description to coaching services, cool bike books to read, and a link to the GoPro I use. If you like bikes and you like going fast on your bike, help support the channel and grab some cool bike stickers. I put them on my vehicles. Stay tuned for the next How to Cycle Fast video. Don't miss it by subscribing and clicking the bell so that you get notified when they come out. Watch one of these epic videos on how to cycle fast just by clicking on them. Bike life, change your life. Bike life, change your life. This bike life can change your life. Motherfucking bike life can change your life.